Good morning, kindergarten! Woohoo! Hi! All right, today we are going to do our phonics workout. So, parents, this is something that we do in the class, usually during morning meeting. Um, we use the Hegarty phonics curriculum, and it's just a way to practice our knowledge of rhyming, um, beginning sounds, end sounds, middle, middle sounds, medial sounds of words, and um, you could do it with us today. And these are fun activities to do while you're, you know, sitting around. If you need something to practice, you can practice some of these activities, make up your own words, or you can always show this video one more time. So we're going to start, there's a few different sections, and I have a book here that I'm using to go off of. Uh, disclaimer, you might see Hoffa come past and say hi. That would actually make this kind of a fun, more exciting than when we're in the classroom if there's a pet that gets to visit. But um, it's going to be a little different, so bear with us. Kindergarten, just uh, do your best, and I'll do my best as well. This is a little different for me. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to, the first section is rhyming. And in room 115, we like to say, rhyme time rhyme time. All right, so I'm going to say two words. If those two words rhyme, give me a thumbs up. If they do not rhyme, give me a thumbs down. Here we go. We're going to be kind of quick because we've done this quite a bit. Ready? Yellow jello. Fat cat. Wet jet. Mad father. Mad dad. Zip lip. Yum gum. Red gum. Red bed, tall wall, fake snake, mouse rat, mouse house. Okay, next section is when we're gonna do chop, chop, blend. Chop, chop, blend. We're going to put a chop for the first sound in the word, the beginning sound, a chop for the rest of the sounds, and then we're gonna blend them together. This is great practice for when we're trying to um, tap out sounds when we're writing, when we're trying to sound out words. So we're going to practice doing that right now. Here we go. The first word is ball. So we would go b, all, ball. All right, so the b is the first sound, all is the rest of it, and then we blend it, ball. Cup, k, up, cup. Dig, d, ig, dig. Fun, Un, fun, gas, g, ass, gas. Now the next couple, I'm gonna try doing it without giving you all the answers. I wanna see if you can if you can do this, ready? The word is help. That should have been help, help. The next word is jump. That should have been j ump, jump. The last one is kick. That should have been k, ick, kick. All right, give yourself a pat on the back if you're with us so far. The next one is one of our favorites in kindergarten, along with rhyme time. We also like to practice this when it's blending together compound words. So I'm going to give you two small words, and then we're going to Clap and mush them together to make one bigger compound word. All right, here we go. Bath room. And then you would go, so I would say bath room, and then we clap and put them together. Bathroom. All right, ready? Card board. Card board. Card board. Drug store. Drug store. Drug store. Fire man. Fire man, fireman. Grand father, grandfather, grandfather. All right, let's see if this one, if we can do another where you're on your own, okay? Outside. That should have been outside. Ready? Sand box. Okay, two more. Swim. Suit. And the last one, water melon. I wish I had a swimsuit and watermelon right now. Wouldn't that be nice to be outside in the sun, 
swimming, having watermelon. Soon enough, soon enough. It's getting warmer every day. All right, this next one we're going to do, we slide for the word, the beginning parts of the word, the beginning sounds, and then punch up for the end sound. So we're gonna focus on the ending sound, the last sound of these words. So an example would be the word job. We would say job, and then the b is when we punch up. Okay, ready? Bed, bed, life, life, bug, bug, page, page, book, book, Gum, gum, can, can. All right, got to flip my page. All right, now for this one, we're going to put both hands out. This is going to be segmenting. So I'm going to give you a big compound word, and then we're going to split it up into two. So here's my example. I'm going to give you the word bathtub, and when we split it up, it would be bathtub. The word is cowboy. Cow, boy. The word is everybody, every buddy. The word is flashlight, flash light. The word is jelly bean, jelly bean. All right, now for the next few, I'm gonna give you the word and move my hands, but I want you to do the thinking, ready? Playground. The word is snowball. The word is toothpaste. The word is weekend. And our last word is such a sweet one, ready? Rainbow. All right, great work. We're moving right along. Now for this one, we're gonna practice, you have to really practice listening for this one. We're gonna be substituting words, changing them out. And this one's sort of fun because we get to do our little ch -ch change, ch -ch changing thing here. So I'm going to start with the word anybody. And if I change buddy to one, what do I have now? I have anybody. I change the buddy to one and now I have anyone. I take the word anyone and I change one to thing. And what do I have? Anything. I take the word anything and I change thing to where and what do I have? Anywhere. I take the word anywhere and I change where to way. What do I have? Anyway. I take the word anyway and I change way to body and what am I back to? Anybody. Okie dokie. This last, or we're going to do two more things. I have a couple minutes left of my video here. All right, the next one we're gonna do is deleting phonemes, deleting some sounds. So I'm going to start with the word headache, and I'm going to take away or grab part of that word back, and then you're gonna tell me what's left. So if I have the word headache, I'm going to take head away, and what am I left with? Ache. Okay, if I have the word headphones, I take head away, and what do I have left? Phones. I have headlight, like on a car. I take away head, and what do I have? Light. I have the word headband. Lots of you have fancy headbands in our class. I take away the word head, and what am I left with? Band. I take the word headstand, and I bet you can guess what I'm gonna take away. If I, take the, if I have the word headstand, and I take head away, what do I have left? Stand. All right. The last part of our warm-up today, I'm going to say a sentence, and I want you to repeat that sentence using the same type of expression. So this is going to be really great pra practice for reading. It's almost like we're in drama with Mrs. Williams. We get to act a little bit. Because when I read a sentence that has an exclamation point, at the end, I'm going to read it with expression and excitement. And if I have a... Um, a question or something that has a question mark at the end, I'm gonna, my voice will go up like this a little bit and we practice that a lot in our classroom. You guys are very good at this. And then if it's just a sentence with a period at the end, I'll just read it in a normal voice. All right, here we go. 
I love school. School is so fun. I raise my hand. I can sit still. Books are so fun to read. I love to play outside. Do you like to play outside? Will you be my friend? I like you. All right, kindergarten, great job today. Um, I'll be back with more videos and more Hegarty and hopefully some read alouds. And I hope that you're using Seesaw because that's the way that I can see all of the awesome work that you're doing at home. And your parents have been letting me know about all of your hard work. I do miss you all very much. Um, and I wish we could be doing our things together in the classroom, but right now for a little bit, we're gonna be doing it this way. If you have any questions or if you wanna send me videos, you can always have your parents email me or you can post something in Seesaw as well. I miss you all so, so much. And I know Mrs. Lewis misses you too. We love you and we will see you soon.